Getting a mortgage is easy if you have a perfect mortgage application. Today I want to talk about what you should watch for when qualifying for a home loan and we are starting right now. Watch till the end of the video because I will give you a bonus and you will be thrilled. So number one, you wanna do lenders will always check your credit score. Actually, this is the first thing a lender will do. Your credit score will have a huge impact on the interest rate that you will be paying. So pull your credit score, pull your credit report. You don't want any surprises. You want your FICO score to be as close to 850 as possible. So review your credit report. Look for any mistakes and work on correcting these mistakes, if there are any, to bump up your credit score. The three credit reporting bureaus are Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. You actually have the right to obtain your credit report for free once a year. So use that right. By the way, I did a video where I interviewed with a credit report professional. So if you need to know more about how to repair your credit, you're welcome to watch this video later. Number two, you must educate yourself about the different types of mortgages that are available in the marketplace. You want to figure out which would make the most sense to you and your goals. Understanding each of the loan programs will actually help you prepare for a long lasting success for many, many years to come and enjoy your home. I do have a video about the difference between the FHA loan and the conventional loan. I explain it in depth, so if you need to watch it later, be my guest. Number three, decide the term of the loan. Typical home loans are available for 15 years or 30 years. Most first time home buyers apply for a 30 year loan. The reason is because the monthly payment is more affordable. It's lower than the 15 year loan, obviously. The disadvantages though of the 30 year loan is obvious because you will end up paying out a lot more in interest during the term of the loan. So by the time you finish with the 30 year loan compared to the 15 year loan, it will cost you a lot more money in interest. Number four, save money for a down payment. Most lenders recommend to save five to 10%, but you will have a better shot and a better home loan if you save 20% for the down payment. You can actually guesstimate how much house you can afford by multiplying your monthly gross income by 25% and use this number to estimate your comfort zone of a monthly payment. Don't forget to add the home insurance and the property taxes. Buying a house with 20% down payment will help you eliminate unnecessary fees that will be attached to the mortgage. And those fees would be like the PMI insurance and that also will help you keep your monthly payment to a minimum. Number five, save money for closing costs. Yeah, in addition to the down payment, buying a house requires paying for closing costs. Depending on the loan program, closing costs can be anywhere from 4% to 6%. And it's calculated from the loan amount. So you see, the less you borrow, the less of closing costs you will pay. Number six, get pre-qualified for a loan, even if it is still early in the process. Make sure to contact the lender who's experienced and knowledgeable. Your realtor can recommend the mortgage broker that they work with, and that usually a very good place to start with. Even if you learn that you don't qualify for a mortgage yet, or for the best home loan that you planned on, you will at least have a roadmap of everything you need to do to get you there. And then you can plan and correct things to get yourself to a position to actually get you the best loan program out there. And that's exactly what you want. My best clients are the educated clients. You shouldn't wait till the last minute and then get stuck with some kind of a crappy mortgage. I will make another video for you about what to watch for when you already found your dream home and now you're applying for the home loan. So make sure subscribe and click on the notification bell because you don't want to miss this video. It's bonus time!
time, as I promised, if you want a perfect mortgage application, this is the bonus. This is what it's going to have to look like. You need to be purchasing your home as a primary residence. That would be one. You would want to have 740 or more on your credit score, a 20% down payment, have closing cost funds readily available, two months of mortgage payments in reserves in the bank, and a minimum of two years of documented employment uninterrupted in the same line of work. I believe that our conversation will help you prepare for a perfect home loan application. I'm Sfir Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales as a local realtor on Staten Island. I love helping you navigate through the home selling process. Remember to watch all the videos that we spoke about during this conversation and I will see you on the next video.